Virtues versus sins. The quiet, deadly battle for our salvation. Virtues are the weapons we need to stop all types of sins, from the smallest to the deadliest. They are the qualities of doing what is right in the eyes of God and avoiding what displeases Him. We are tempted daily by our own complacencies and weaknesses. James 1 verses 14 and 15 Everyone who is tempted is attracted and seduced by his own wrong desire. Then the desire conceives and gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it too has a child, and the child is dead. We are faced with the deadly battles of virtues against sins to achieve salvation or the perfection of our soul. The devil fights continually to make us feel overconfident with the state of our souls. Here we can meditate over 100 virtues that we should practice daily. It helps to take each one of these virtues and make a reflection. Make this page part of the daily spiritual bread that God provides us. Let us take every trace into our hearts and make a commitment to perfect ourselves to be worthy followers of Christ. Luke 9 verse 23 If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and pick up his cross every day and follow me. Virtues that we should practice daily to achieve holiness. I should practice faith to overcome reasoning. I should practice hope to overcome despair. I should practice love to overcome hatred. I should practice humility to overcome pride. I should practice forgiveness to overcome resentment. I should practice austerity to overcome waste or lavishness. I should practice chastity to overcome sexual misconduct. I should practice obedience to God's laws to overcome sinfulness. Virtues to overcome the seven deadly sins or capital vices. First, I should practice humility to overcome pride. Second, I should practice generosity to overcome greed. Third, I should practice chastity to overcome lust. Fourth, I should practice contentment to overcome envy. Fifth, I should practice temperance to overcome gluttony. Sixth, I should practice patience to overcome wrath. Seventh, I should practice diligence to overcome loss. A hundred virtues to achieve perfection. First of all, we need to do much prayer, to humbly ask God the grace to change and not to enter in aridity. Some attitudes and defects are the camouflage of sins that are hidden. And to achieve virtue, I should practice love to overcome hatred. I should practice kindness to overcome cruelty. I should practice compassion to overcome indifference. I should practice empathy to overcome apathy. I should practice generosity to overcome greed. I should practice gratitude to overcome ingratitude. I should practice humility to overcome arrogance. I should practice patience to overcome impatience. I should practice forgiveness to overcome resentment. I should practice courage to overcome cowardice. I should practice integrity to overcome dishonesty. I should practice honesty to overcome deceit. I should practice diligence to overcome laziness. I should practice perseverance to overcome quitting. I should practice loyalty to overcome betrayal. I should practice justice to overcome injustice. I should practice temperance to overcome excess. I should practice self-control 
to overcome impulsiveness. I should practice modesty to overcome vanity. I should practice sincerity to overcome hypocrisy. I should practice tolerance to overcome intolerance. I should practice respect to overcome disrespect. I should practice wisdom to overcome foolishness. I should practice prudence to overcome recklessness. I should practice faith to overcome doubt. I should practice hope to overcome despair. I should practice peace to overcome conflict. I should practice harmony to overcome discord. I should practice contentment to overcome discontent. I should practice serenity to overcome anxiety. I should practice fortitude to overcome weakness. I should practice resilience to overcome fragility. I should practice open-mindedness to overcome close-mindedness. I should practice adaptability to overcome rigidity. I should practice understanding to overcome ignorance. I should practice acceptance to overcome rejection. I should practice positivity to overcome negativity. I should practice cheerfulness to overcome gloominess. I should practice encouragement to overcome discouragement. I should practice supportiveness to overcome unhelpfulness. I should practice magnanimity or altruism to overcome selfishness. I should practice sacrifice to overcome self-centeredness. I should practice service to overcome exploitation. I should practice creativity to overcome sterility. I should practice resourcefulness to overcome helplessness. I should practice independence to overcome dependence. I should practice initiative to overcome passivity. I should practice apostolic leadership to overcome spiritual apathy. I should practice apostolic teamwork to overcome individualism. I should practice witnessing God's word to overcome the enemies of God. I should practice collaboration to overcome solitude. I should practice trust to overcome mistrust. I should practice reliability to overcome unreliability. I should practice dependability to overcome inconstancy. I should practice transparency to overcome secrecy. I should practice authenticity to overcome pretense. I should practice adaptability to overcome inflexibility. I should practice modesty to overcome pride. I should practice reverence to overcome disrespectfulness. I should practice grace to overcome clumsiness. I should practice friendliness to overcome hostility. I should practice cooperation to overcome unwillingness to cooperate. I should practice harmony to overcome discord. I should practice balance to overcome imbalance. I should practice stability to overcome instability. I should practice resilience to overcome vulnerability. I should practice perceptiveness to overcome obliviousness. I should practice sharpness to overcome dullness. I should practice self-awareness or alertness to overcome inattentiveness. I should practice enlightenment to overcome ignorance. I should practice study of the Holy Scriptures to overcome ignorance of Christ. I should practice foresight to overcome short-sightedness. I should practice vision to overcome blindness. I should practice insight to overcome lack of insight. I should practice broad-mindedness to overcome narrow-mindedness. I should practice graciousness to overcome rudeness. I should practice benevolence to overcome malevolence. I should practice independence to overcome dependence. I should practice open-heartedness to overcome cold-heartedness. I should practice warmth to overcome coldness. I should practice positivity to overcome pessimism. I should practice joyfulness to overcome sorrowfulness.
I should practice cheerfulness to overcome melancholy. I should practice radiance to overcome dullness. I should practice optimism to overcome pessimism. I should practice zeal to overcome apathy. I should practice eagerness to overcome indifference. I should practice enthusiasm to overcome disinterest. I should practice ardor to overcome apathy. I should practice vitality to overcome lethargy. I should practice vigor to overcome inactivity and laziness. I should practice exercising physical and spiritual to overcome physical and spiritual fatigue. I should practice zest to overcome languor or lethargy. I should practice drive or industriousness to overcome indolence or procrastination. I should practice determination to overcome weak-mindedness or pusillanimity. I should practice tenacity to overcome timidity. I should practice grit or perseverance to overcome softness. I should practice self-confidence to overcome fragility. I should practice persistence to overcome inconsistency.